Hello, welcome to weekly vlog 11. Crazy, it's Monday obviously, it is about 20 past three and I'm back to doing the school runs. It's been a while since I've done this because they had half term, my cousins, and then they went on a holiday. I think I'm gonna stay at my auntie's for dinner. She's offered if I wanna stay, because obviously she knows we don't really have a kitchen and stuff. This morning I have been finishing off the weekly vlog, getting that done and doing some work, which is quite productive. I have to be really productive this week because I'm away for four days next week, so I've got to get stuff done. Crazy to think this time next week I'm gonna be in Disneyland Paris. It's a very exciting but surreal thought. Although the last time I went was the start of March, it does feel like a very, very long time since I was last there. Oh. It is 20 past 10 and I'm home from my auntie's. We had a really nice meal. It was nice to have something home cooked and like proper. It was like really nice. I don't normally like Indian that's not a takeaway that much, which is probably really bad of me, but it was genuinely lovely. And I've come home to some lovely post from a girl called Holly, who if you've been watching my channel for a while, you may have seen me talk about her before. She's the loveliest girl and she opened an Etsy store last year maybe, I'm not too sure when it was, but she contacted me when she was opening because she was just wanting to reach out to people and we got chatting and now she's so lovely and we're good friends. And um, she set up an Etsy store selling hair bows and hair bands and things like that. She sent me a bell bow, also sent me a Gaston hair bow, which I'll show you. The bell one is a hair clip and the Gaston one is a, like a hairband which is very very cute and I love them I take them to Disney when I'm with me and keep them in my bag in case I want to get my hair out the way or whatever um so she said she was doing like a new product she was going to send it to me as an early birthday present which is incredibly kind of her she wrote me a really lovely message and on the back she's drawn a picture of chip and this is amazing I'm so so in love with that I wish I could draw whenever somebody sends me a drawing or tweets me a drawing or anything I just get jealous because I'm not artistic in any way I can't do things like that and I think that is so good like Holly you're so talented this is her business card her shop is called where seems come true so she sent these two lanyards which are new products she's going to be stocking and they come with the bows on them I think they're just so sweet so she's kindly sent the bell one for me and Minnie Mouse for Chelsea I love them I think it's such a unique lanyard love this bell ribbon and I think it's so pretty. I wish I could like just have everything covered in this ribbon and then the Minnie Mouse one as well. So these are really, really sweet and really special. I'm gonna get on with some work now and go and sit on my laptop and do some stuff, catch up on Love Island, that kind of thing. It's half two in the morning and I'm off to bed. I didn't actually do too much productive stuff tonight, which is quite bad for me. I placed an order on Boohoo for some dresses because I'm kind of panicking about what I'm gonna wear in Disney. I'm off to bed and tomorrow, don't have much planned, we've got to do the school run again and maybe film a video, well I do have to film a video, I need to do a favourites video which will probably go up when I'm away. Hello, welcome to Tuesday, I've been a terrible vlogger today, I haven't vlogged anything, it's been really busy, I'm just powdering my face, I'm about to film a video, just like crazy curled my hair, I need to kind of unfluff it, sort it out a bit. Uh, it's been really busy today, I've been productive, done lots of work, had to do some life admin stuff which I'll tell you about later. I did the school run, and kids came back here, fed them, walked the dog and I uh, had dinner and now I need to film two videos but it is 10 o'clock and I reckon I've got about 40 minutes till my nan wants to go to bed so I need to be quite quick. Then I've got to edit one and get it out for tomorrow. Put a lot of pressure on myself but I didn't do a video last week on a Wednesday so I feel a bit like I can let people down maybe. Just filmed my two videos. It is now 20 past 11 and I've got to edit one. I'm going to crack on with some work and watch Love Island and then at some point go to bed. Don't know when but at some point. Tomorrow I'm really excited because I'm seeing Alyssa and I don't feel like I've done anything social in such a long time and we're going to have pizza and we're going to go shopping and it's going to be a good day. It is now half past three in the morning and I do feel very knackered but I have been very productive and in general I had a really productive day today. I got everything I think I needed to done. I had to bring student finance today which was a bit difficult. I went to uni when I left sixth form. I went to Greenwich Uni to study events management and I actually only ended up going to about seven lectures because about two three weeks into me joining my mum went into hospital and then eventually she passed away and then I ended up dropping out at the end of January the next year after kind of like dealing with my mum, not dealing with it, but after my mum passing away and Christmas and everything. So I have to pay back a lot of money for nothing really. I mean, it's not for nothing because I guess the uni thinks that I owe for the seven lectures I went to and everything, but yeah, so I've had to be dealing with that today, which is not overly fun and quite difficult really because it brings up a lot of negative stuff for me. I'm very tired now. I've 
got to take makeup off and get this video uploading overnight and then go to sleep. All I can think about right now is that tomorrow I'm going to have a Pizza Hut buffet with Alyssa. I'm quite tired today. I was up in the end till about quarter past four finishing off work. Obviously because I think I've said this so many times, you're probably sick of it because I'm going away next week. I'm trying to prep videos and everything for when I'm away and get everything scheduled. So I hope you've enjoyed the pin trading video if you watched it. We are going for Pizza Hut buffet, which I'm very excited about. I love a Pizza Hut buffet and uh, I haven't had pizza in a while, which normally I have pizza like once or twice a week. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And I think we're going to do some shopping and do some browsing and stuff. I've actually got to go to Lakes because I need to pick up something which I've ordered for my cousin's birthday um, and I do want to go to Primark as well. We made it to the Pizza Hut buffet and I got a bit excited and I overstacked my plate a little bit and got some cheese pasta and my standard Pizza Hut salad bowl. Alyssa was a bit more restrained and healthy <laughs> to be honest and uh, there's some onion rings as well. I'm so excited. We are in the Disney store and there's a sale on. It's like the best Disney store as well. This one's huge and I want everything. <laughs> this is dangerous. All of the dresses are on sale as well, but why am I an adult and none of them fit? It is four o'clock and I'm sitting outside Blue Water. Me and Alyssa have finished here. We only kind of went for a quick Pizza Hut lunch buffet, which was really lovely. I love Pizza Hut, as we all know. And then we went in a couple of shops. There's a lot of sales on at the moment, which I didn't know was a thing, but Alyssa said it's summer and they, there are summer sales. So there was a massive Disney store sale on, but I didn't buy anything. I popped into Body Shop and got something. Went into Clinton's and got something my friend Ray I and mean, then I went into boots and I did a significant amount of damage because the boots here at Blue Water has a NYX counter as you may know NYX is now kind of quite a lot more readily available in the UK they sell it on ASOS and a couple of weeks ago I bought a liquid lipstick which I really liked I bought like a ready orange one but I've never seen a counter so I ended up doing quite a bit of damage at the NYX counter but I kind of expected that but luckily I am back like eight pounds worth of boots points so it's not too bad I'm actually now having to go to Lakeside so I'm going from one shopping centre to the other I need to pick something up from Toys R Us ordered her a pink guitar because that's what she wanted now officially all shopped out I've just done Lakeside I didn't really go in many shops I'm kind of really tired now it is seven o'clock i think the builder is coming back tomorrow and i actually think part of the kitchen is being delivered which is a major step forward for us because you know it's it's been an empty shell for about a week now nothing has happened for approximately a week i thought i would show you the stuff i got today i got a few packages as well through the post and uh yeah so it's kind of been like a, a day of receiving new things which is quite nice i was going to do a haul video but in all honesty i can't be bothered so i'm just going to show you what i have got one thing i received through the post today was a little package from lip smacker which is very cool they're doing a new starburst and skittles collection which is very exciting if like me you love lip balm and you love sweets they're available from claire's accessories and accessorize and they're about two pounds fifty each so they sent me the starburst strawberry which is good because that's my favorite flavor of starburst i'm sure that's going to basically be edible and then they sent me the Starburst Lip Smacker in Mango Melon. Oh, I love melon. So that's very exciting. And even more excitingly, they have done a collection for Finding Dory, which comes out very soon. It's about a month actually today, I think the film comes out. So they sent me a Dory lip balm. I don't think, I don't know if this is flavoured because it doesn't say, but the collection is out in Primark and there's loads of sets and stuff you can get. Popped into the body shop today to get this. This is quite new and I've seen it being spoken about so much online. It is the Body Shop Shade Adjusting Drops. They do a lightening one and a darkening one. I think the kind of purpose is contouring, but I bought this because a lot of people have said if you're pale and fair like me, adding a drop of this or more, depending on how pale you are, into your foundation really helps it kind of be a better colour for you, if that makes sense. I got two kind of adult things. I love buying adult things like this, like tech stuff. I ordered a really short length Apple lead charger thing. Then I bought this for Disney. I thought this was a genius idea. There's never enough plugs in hotel rooms. So we always take like a multi-plug to make a plug more plugs, if that makes sense. But this was like six pounds from Amazon and you plug it in and you've got four USBs and four plugs. And it's even got a little uh, thing to turn it off if it gets too hot automatically. So that is going to make my life so much easier. I have a friend, a really lovely friend called Ray, who I've known since I first sort of started going to Disneyland Paris. She works there full time in entertainment and she is one of the most lovely people I've ever met. I absolutely adore her. So glad I met her from 
me going to see some Paris. I saw this frame when I was out shopping today and I thought I have to get this and put a picture of her friend Olaf in it. I think it's really sweet and I really hope she'll like it. So I got that for her and I'll take it with me next week. Moving on to the NYX stuff, I went mad. I got really excited about all of this. Stay matte but not flat powder foundation. I was talking to Alyssa today about how I kind of want a bit more coverage sometimes and she said the best thing to do is try out a powder foundation and put it on top of your normal foundation so i've got the shade ivory which i think is the palest one they do and i used it earlier and i really really like it it's got a good amount of coverage it's a good tone so it will cancel out any redness which i think for me is really good because i have quite naturally red skin i got this which is on the spot makeup brush spray cleaner i bought a brush cleaner like this in sephora last year and i use it almost every other day especially with eye makeup brushes and then i do kind of a deep brush cleanse every two weeks or so so i needed a new one of this and it wasn't very expensive it was about seven pounds and it's much bigger and cheaper than the Sephora one. I've got two of these jumbo eye pencils. These are things I've seen people talking about from NYX for as long as I've been aware of them. I've got the shade Milk and the shade Cashmere. This is them swatched next to each other. They're supposed to be really blendable and kind of wearable on their own, but they do have a kind of like sticky texture to them and they work really well as a base for other shadows. I've got two of these eyeliners. They're called the Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, Definitely a Turn On, Waterproof Extreme Shine Eyeliner Bracket this eyeliner is so good the name had to be this long I got pure white and jet black they are very pigmented very creamy lastly I brought two of the NYX liquid suede cream lipsticks they do so many types of lip products liquid lipsticks normal lipsticks I was a bit overwhelmed I recently bought one of the cream matte lipsticks so I thought I'd try these instead and I got number eight and number nine and I wore this one for most of the day and they're really comfortable I was really tempted to go with a red orange tone but I did buy a red in the uh, other formula so we'll see which one I prefer. I popped to Primark I didn't actually get anything too interesting I bought a pack of these false lashes because I, I don't even know why I bought these. Memory foam slippers as old lady as it sounds these are so comfortable. These I buy every time they're a pound for two packs of face wipes they're not the best face wipes in the world but they're definitely the cheapest. I've needed some new boots because I've got some boots which I wear literally all the time they're down there and they're looking a bit worse for wear now. I wanted some new ones that are a bit smarter and had a higher heel. They were 13 pounds and they're just kind of like I'm not cowboy style but I don't know how to explain it but I really do like them they're very comfortable it's not like a high heel but it's a bit of a heel and I could walk around in them all day and it would be okay. Last couple of things I have to show you are from Boohoo I have never ordered from Boohoo before but I think I said I was panic buying and bought four dresses I'm keeping three of them and I'm keeping a jacket so I'll show you those I'm really happy with them. First one obviously is stripes I love stripes and it is kind of a white cream colour it's more white I guess with little cap sleeves which are really flattering it's got this little layered bit which I think is really nice and it's got an underdress as well so it's not see through and it's kind of just above knee length then I got this one which I really like and it's not very me actually it's very different for me and I like that it's got three quarter length sleeves because that's quite flattering as well and it'll be good if it's not as warm in Paris also got an under layer and I just I love the pattern it's so lovely so I'm really happy with these two it's obviously a different style and it's more fitted kind of here which is kind of just above the waist but I just really liked this detail I think it's really really pretty I got the black one they did do it in white as well but I've bought a couple of white dresses lately so I thought I would just go with the black and it's got that kind of detail on the bottom as well and then I bought this oversized denim jacket slightly cropped in length like not too cropped but it won't cover my bum which is fine because I find these kind of jackets a bit more flattering when they do go into the waist but I'm really happy with it I'm gonna roll the sleeves up I like things with sleeves rolled up and yeah I'm just really happy with everything so I'm really impressed with what I got from Boohoo I also got this double layered coin rose gold necklace from Boohoo. I thought this might look nice kind of with plain shirts or t-shirts or something. I got this from Accessorize today. I wasn't looking for a bag, just walked past and they had a sale on. It's a kind of light tan colour and I bought it for Disneyland Paris. It's got like a suede flap here, it opens up and I like that inside it has this zip section so I can keep things really safe. There's loads of space in here, extra slots and another zip and it's just, yeah, really nice. I'll use this even when I'm not in Paris and you can take the strap off so... Really excited to have this. It's a complete bargain. It was £15 reduced from £40. Hello. So I feel like I've got like a bit of explaining to do. It's actually Friday today. I didn't film anything yesterday. I woke up in a really positive mood. The builder came back and so that's been happening. There's been a lot of building work happening, which is good. They've been putting in units and stuff. So I'll show you that maybe tomorrow if I can. Something not so good happened and I don't can't really say too much about it. But as some of you may know if you've been watching for a little while, I changed jobs this sort of 
earlier this year I was working um, for Clarins a couple of days a week on a counter um, alongside doing YouTube and working at the O2 working for a new company that was set up and I never told you it because it hadn't launched I said I'd tell you when it launched etc um, I was working from home and kind of doing like content writing that kind of thing like m marketing but that sort of stuff I've never really said too much about it I kind of was going to wait until it launched which would hopefully be like soonish um, and then I ended up doing some work for the person who kind of owns the company is a really good friend of mine so he has another company as well that's quite new and um, I kind of ended up doing some work for that lately he ended up calling me yesterday and kind of said that things aren't going overly well um, especially since like the referendum result we voted to leave the EU um, things have kind of financially been quite difficult especially for them being a new company and basically they can't keep my contract going to cut a long story short basically i've only got one month left now and then like one month's pay um for this job and then that's it so i was understandably very upset yesterday and kind of very emotional i did a lot of crying and a lot of like oh my god what am i gonna do um and there's no like hard feelings at all because i completely understand that this is just like bad circumstances and bad timing and um, not something that he wanted to do uh, it's just kind of what's happened has led to this very worried because this is the first time that I found something that I really like doing and really fitted my lifestyle and um, like I was earning decent money like more money that I was earning when I was working for Clarins and doing something I was really passionate about and it fitted in with YouTube and everything else I do in my life and now I'm very scared because I don't know what I'm going to do next. I've been really lucky that my YouTube channel's kind of grown lately and I do make money from it but it's a very, very small amount of money. Like I could not live off of it at all so I couldn't live off just that and the O2 at the moment I don't think. And it's the time of year as well where there's not many shifts at the O2 because it always happens in summer. Negative at the moment and just didn't feel like picking up the camera and talking about it yesterday and because I was more emotional yesterday as well. I feel very like worthless which is probably the best way of putting it, like I'm not very good at anything, I don't have any qualifications apart from like GCSEs and A levels, I, I just am not good at anything and I don't know what I'm going to do with my life, I'm quite scared to be honest. This on top of kind of the bad week I've had with my mum's birthday anniversary and things that have been happening with my personal life that I, I've sort of mentioned but can't speak to you about really, it's been a bit rubbish i was so excited to go on this trip and i'd saved money for it and i'm also going away in august which now i shouldn't really i wish i kind of wasn't doing because i need to be saving that money but i've already booked it and it's all non-refundable so it might mean that maybe i just don't go to paris for halloween i've got two videos i need to edit before i can go away i need to get one this video edited and my monthly favorites to go up for when i'm away packing i need to go to tesco's i need to get petrol i need to sort out travel insurance and all the documents i need for the card anyway it's time to go to work i am home from work i've been home from work for a while actually it's now actually two o'clock in the morning i've been replying to comments tonight because a disney vlog went up i'm gonna take this makeup off that's mostly smeared off my face and head to bed tomorrow I'm meant to be doing productive stuff and working but I think I'm going to see my brother and he wants to go and do something fun together because we've been going through a lot of crap basically lately so I think I'm going to take him maybe bowling then I think I'm going to take him for Chinese because that's his favourite food. Work was okay tonight, it looked very quiet, it was earth, wind and fire. I'll see you in the morning. It's Saturday and I'm about to head out the door but before I do I thought I'd just show you what's happened in the kitchen the past couple of days because it's been quite a while since I've shown you. Basically it's been completely empty for a very long time. All that really happened was plastering because the builder went away for a week. He came back on Thursday and the past couple of days he's been fitting units and a couple of the appliances. All of the units pretty much are in now. They're like a creamy colour. I really like them. Uh, we've got so much more storage space. Brand new oven. This is where the fridge is going to go but it's around the corner at the moment. Uh, we will have a hob stove thing on here and the sink will go in here and the washing machine will go there but everything has the like you can't slam the doors if you know what I mean. You have to like if you slam it it closes which is quite cool. Bertie's cage is going to go back here so we still got his little spot. Now I've got to put him away and then I'm off out. I'm coming. Bowling. Oh yeah. Oh I want to win a Nemo. I want to win a Nemo. Oh. Let's go. Got a strike.
<laughs> Wait for it, you'll remember the song when it starts. This is when all the lights were on. Yup. It's pretty cool. <laughs> this went on for <laughs> ages. <laughs> Wait for it. Hey! Oh! Our neighbours oh, look, when Anne's neighbours look at us. <laughs> <laughs> Together, everyone. Like, what are these people doing? Why? Are they? What? <laughs> they're really staring at us. Everyone is special in their own way. Oh, we make each other strong. <laughs> No. We're different in, in a, a good way. way. Together's where we belong. Love. We're all, all in this together. together. I remember the dance, it's sad, isn't it? We've been singing Disney songs, and Nan's neighbours came home and were staring at us really funny. Like, who the hell are you, and why are you putting on a performance? We just missed Akuna Matata. Yeah, but I don't want Akuna Matata. Akuna Matata. I want to be Simone, you can be pumped. So, you probably want a bit of context as to what's been going on. Basically, it's Sunday now and I've just been out for a meal with my dad, my brother and my other nan, my dad's mum. And I went out with my brother and we did stuff together. But basically, I ran out of space on my memory card so I couldn't really film very much. 5.42 and I've got to wash my hair, curl my hair, finish my weekly vlog, get that uploaded for tomorrow, pack, haven't done that. Chelsea's gonna arrive at some point and we've got to go get petrol. Just so much to do. It's scary. I think I'm actually gonna end this weekly vlog here because I need to get it edited and uploaded so you can watch it tomorrow, Monday, whilst I'm in Disney. It's not overly been a very good week considering the stuff that's happened with my job and everything. I can't do anything about it now. I'm, I'm lucky that I'm about to go and have a fun few days away. If you watch my Disney vlogs, you know I'm currently uploading the Halloween ones. And after that, you'll have Christmas ones from my visit when I went in January this year. And then you'll have March vlogs and then these ones. So we're not too far away, really, from seeing these ones. It won't be too long. I will be keeping you updated on Snapchat, Instagram, Periscope, Twitter. Everything is linked below in the description box. So make sure you come and follow me because I'll be kind of live posting what I'm up to, especially on Snapchat. I kind of like live vlog a little bit when I'm there. But I will be filming the trip and vlogging it for you and you'll see it very soon in the future. The new show is out, Mickey and the Magician, which I can't wait to see. I want to meet Belle and just see loads of characters. And I just think it's going to be a really, really lovely trip. I'm in Disney, so I won't be weekly vlogging next week. So I'm going to take a week off from weekly vlogging. And then the Monday after I'm home, I will start weekly vlogging again for you all. Yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and the videos I've got this week. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.